You know, it's interesting because when I asked Monica Lewinsky to come, I had uh, people who said to me, why would you bring um, her here? Mm -hmm. What has she got to say that's important, especially an inspiring message? She has a very inspiring message, and I've made the decision to introduce her because um, of the uh, opposition that I experienced inviting her. I remember when she was 21 so vividly and how she was villainized. Mm -hmm. And I had a, a little girl, m my daughter, my youngest daughter was in junior high and uh, for some reason they started I an email campaign against her. And, I, and I'm gonna tell that story today about her sitting in the bathroom at lunch, in the stall to eat her lunch. Uh, because she did not want to be out so that the kids would say things to her and, and do things. And she's a brilliant, beautiful w woman today. But she called me, I was working in India, and she said, I don't think I can take this anymore, Mom. I think I have to end it. And she was talking about ending her life at 12 years old because of the bullying. And that has stuck with me so deeply. And I think Monica, Monica Lewinsky is an inspiration, that she is able to stand tall, hold her head tall, against all of the bullying that she experienced and the hateful, hateful comments. So I think today cyberbullying is a huge issue. I'm going to put up today tweets about me, tweets about me as a, women, as a woman and how hateful and vicious they are because it happens all the time. Mm -hmm. And it's not right and it needs to stop. And we need to say and speak out and say that this kind of you know, Twitter campaign now against um, people is, uh, you know, is disrespectful and we need civil conversations. They do, and they did in my generation too. I, you know, the words um, like slut and whore, they were, they were used in my generation. They're used to villainize women. And um, you, you don't hear those same words used around men. You hear playboy, almost a real, uh, they make it into something to be positive. Uh, that has to stop. You know, women need to own the bodies and own their sexuality, and and we need to respect them for that and respect each other. And so, um, I think that's a classic example of discrimination that particularly targets women and vulnerable women, often young women, um, like Monica was. She was young at 21. You're young, right? So I think that's really important that we do that, that we we stop that and talk about it and and call it out. We're doing it at the University of Regina bystander training uh, so that we can we can support each other. So we're putting bystander training out so that our students get it, so that they can stop bullying when it happens. And it's not always on the victim to do so.